All right, let's explain what is a Newton. Unfortunately, it's not this delicious cookie. A Newton is the unit of force. And we remind ourselves that earlier on we learned that force is equal to mass times acceleration. The unit of mass is a kilogram, and the unit of acceleration is meters per second squared. So when they were putting this together, they knew that force is going to equal, so let's say we had an object that was 2 kilograms, and it was accel accelerating 4 meters per second squared. Right? That would look like we had a 2 kilogram object, and it was accelerating 4 meters per second squared. Okay? This slash is a division sign. We also know that we can take 2 kilograms and we can put it over 1. We can do that with any number, right? We know that 8 over 1 is another way of writing 8. So 2 kilograms over 1, which is what 2 kilograms is, and 4 meters over second squared. So if we were to multiply this out, 2 times 4 is 8. And one of the things that we have to get used to being able to do is just multiplying units. All we're going to do is just put them next to each other. So we're going to say kilogram times meters. Now, I have no idea what a kilogram meter is. I don't have to know what a kilogram meter is. It's just part of the formula. All right? It's how we measure force. All of this is over. Now we multiply the bottom, just like we would do in a math problem. One times second squared. Okay, so we have our force as being 8 kilogram meters per second squared. Now, I have to be perfectly honest. After all the years that I've done this, I still can't envision what a kilogram meters per second squared is when I do this. But I know it's how we measure force. It's how we measure a push or pull on an object. Now, saying kilogram meters per second squared gets to be pretty tough to do and, and annoying after a while. So they agreed in physics, and instead of calling it a kilogram meters per second squared, they decided to give it its own name, and that's what we call a Newton. So a Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So we would just say this is 8 Newtons. Okay, in summary, a force is a push or a pull on an object in a given direction. The formula of force is force equals mass times acceleration. We know that mass is measured in kilograms. Acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. When we multiply the mass and the acceleration, we get kilogram meters per second squared. We know that that's confusing. It doesn't matter if we understand what it is. We have to understand that it is. And we know that a kilogram meters per second squared is also known as a Newton.